Yo, YouTube, welcome to Sea Island in St. Simmons, Georgia. St. Simmons Island, Island I think. Georgia. Yeah, there we go. There's lots of islands, lots of C words, <laughs> S words. <laughs> so we are here at the plantation course today. This will be the only time we're able to film this week. Um, just playing my practice round, so not really going to be keeping score. You'll, I mean, I'm sure we'll add in my score at the top of the corners, but it's pretty foggy this morning. We happen to show up early to the tea time. Mentioned to the starter, just, you can let us off if you want, and he let us off, so we're the first tee time. Going to try to play quick, keep up the pace, and yeah. And we've mentioned it before, but if you are new to the channel, Taylor's playing the PGA National Club Championship, so Women's Club Champions, Taylor was invited. Here we are, so playing the practice round today. It's going to be a great time. Well, if, it's, if you're supposed to hit it straight, that was straight. Nice and foggy this morning. Yeah, I had no idea where I was hitting it off the tee. I just hope to hit it kind of straight. I've got 94, I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. Okay. It's been a pretty heavy air, so ball's not really flying as far. Hopefully I don't kill this blower. Couldn't tell. I think it's gonna work. Sure. Thank you. Okay, you can just tell. So the greens are pretty grainy, so you can see where it's gonna be fast versus slow. That entire dark kind of strip is just a massive slope up here. So gonna have to really be aware of this in the tournament. Here's a sneak peek of our guy. Celeb appearance, oh my gosh. Been pretty nuts had he made it. You hammered that and that's like two feet by. I know. The uh, the grain here is different than back home. It is Bermuda sand grass, but it's very different. Put. Thank you. Hoping this fog gets out of here quicker. Yeah. Um, can't really see where you're hitting it. You gotta trust the cart. Uh, par four though. Smoked. I think that's gonna be good. Shot. Okay, I've got 95 again. So another gap wedge in hand. I wish y'all could see this. There's like some. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what's. What kind of bunker that is. Your foot slip. Yeah. It's a good shot. Thank you. Looks to be perfectly pin high. Nice one. Thank you. It's a good putt. Are you gonna like hit any putts to flags? You think? No, just because of pace. Oh, okay. It's so nice. How far? What club? Okay, so we obviously can't use our laser with the fog. Cart is saying 183 to the back right corner of the green, so I've got seven iron. Just gonna play for the middle of the green. Okay. You said yard. Uh, the green was like 40 yards deep, right? Yeah. Okay. Caddy's taking notes too, guys. I think that's towards the green. That should be um, like the back right of the green. Yeah. We'll see. Just try. Wow. I smashed that putt. That's a great putt. I smashed that. That looks like a tournament pin there also. I know. This green, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it slopes so hard. Right here, up there, there's a false front. My chip went just all the way back down just now. All right, hole four is a par five. Um, looks like a three shot hole to, to Taylor, so we got just three wood off this tee. Not the best shot, but that's gonna work. The result's gonna be fine. It's like a burner little three wood that is probably gonna go <laughs> 150. It's all good, it's in the fairway. That's true. Perfectly in the fairway, this is why 
It's a three shot hole. Even if you hit driver, I mean, you're probably still 250, so. Yeah, I've got a four iron, kind of a tricky little layup hole. Yeah. I'm gonna aim pretty much at there's a bunker. There's a bunker somewhere in there. This is smash. Nice shot. This is a very tricky hole for sure. Not an easy part five. I've got 130, nine iron in. A little right of the flag, this should be a good shot. Did you see it? Yeah, it's just on the front edge of the green. Yeah. As long as I'm putting, my goal is just to hit fairways and greens and whatever happens, happens. Another green that is just nuts. I mean, all of these are. So, yeah, like I said, if you see the darker green, it means it's going uphill. Lighter green means it is going downhill. So, here's just this massive slope and all the undulation just everywhere on the green. It's pretty nuts. It's definitely going to be a tricky course really need to make it a goal of just only two putting. How far do we have here? About 24 feet. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a great putt. Did I hit the lip? Barely. Gotcha. You know, fairway, green, two putt. I just want to putt one up here and see what would happen I mean if you sure I think this is good anyway because it's very possible that it happens if you end up down here I don't know how you two play you really have no way of just planning for that yeah fingers crossed I hit it on the right uh, ledge of the green yeah I mean look at this thing this yeah. is this is PGA Tour green right here The siding of all these fairways is so intimidating with these trees, everything. Okay, I've got 149 going for 7 iron. Seems like it's playing about 5 yards less out here. Fog is starting to dissipate a little bit. You can see the flag there just over the bunker. All right. Practice round tip. Taylor hit it here intentionally yeah. for bunker practice. And I just got mud all over my pants. It's a pretty straightforward pin right there. Okay. How'd the bunker feel? Feels pretty good. Light and compact. It's gonna be a big breaker. Yeah. These greens all have a ton of slope. Mm. Imagine enjoying your morning coffee in that one. <laughs> What'd you say? I said imagine enjoying your morning coffee in that one. Not too shabby. It wouldn't be half bad, would it? Be kind of I'd be hitting so many golf balls from that backyard into this green. I would never see you. This is true. Hmm. I think it's gonna be okay. It looks like there's fairway going that way. Yeah. It kind of goes out to the right. Yeah. Did not hit that solid, but I think this was the hole to have a yeah. right miss. Okay, I've got 171. I cannot hit a 5-iron over that tree, so I'm just going to hit a 6-iron. Play a little short. Okay. This is nice. I know you can't see that, but that should be just in front of the green. Yeah, I think that'll should... work. Is that the green? I don't think so. No, the green cuts right here. This is so thin. Yeah. I think if I was in the tournament, I'd probably be cutting this. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> Maybe I will be chipping off that. Almost made that. I know. Wow. I pulled that. Hmm. Okay, 118. I've got pitching wedge. I'm gonna have to smash this thing right this now. This has to be a signature hole. This is beautiful. This is nice awesome. bridge. Nice bridge coming up. That bird? Yeah. I hope they don't kill. This looks good. Oh my gosh. Just. Did the bird look over at my shot? Like, just on the, the edge. <laughs> what was that? What did it do, baby? I just almost walked directly back into the water. Oh my lie. gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of pretty close. You can just hear the grain when yeah. you're hitting it. Wow, great putt. Thank you. Nice par. Thank you. Pace of play yesterday. We played three holes in an hour. Right now we've been playing for an hour and 15 and we're on eight. Yeah. <laughs> Love this. Yesterday was pretty brutal with the pace. What's your aiming point here? I'm just going for that middle bunker. Okay. That one? Nope. What's the carry on that one over there? I don't even look at that because that was not my line. So yeah. I have no idea. But I did see it bounce, so it could have be it could have stayed short. So I'm two hundred. Good to know I can actually get there in two if I hit it in the fairway. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit a nine iron out into the fairway and leave myself hopefully sixty seven yards. My shot. Thank you. Yeah, this will be a good one. Yeah. We have a spectator. And guess who's on the cakes to take a picture? This thing is huge. National Geographic signed me up. Look at her. No, it, it went in its shell. Well, obviously, that's his uh, defense mechanism. <laughs> I got 94 for the third time today. Gap wedge for the third time today. Oh my goodness, just crept on. Well, now we know if the flag's on the right, we don't, we don't fire at it. We go that way. Taylor is like, on the verge. Look at the water graveyard. Look at where this one's shot ended up. I don't know how it stopped. That's very true. Great putt. Thank you know, from the fairway, it really doesn't look like that. Like no, the water's right there. All. That is very deceiving. It's nice that the sun's come out. This is just nuts. I mean, look at that huge ridge. So today, playing the practice round, I'm playing three practice rounds total, one at each course. So yesterday we played Seaside. Um, you know, really for me, my practice round strategy has changed now that I'm not playing competitive. So I've got my yardage marker with my, or my yardage book with my old ASU book. So this yardage book is pretty detailed. Um, it's one of the fancy schnazzy ones, which, so they've got the greens in quite a bit of detail with the slopes, percent of slopes. So it's really helpful. You know, I'm not really looking too much today at all of these different green complexes. I'm more just trying to figure out my landing, my landing points, um, all the lines I want off the tee. Yesterday was a bit tricky because at Seaside, everything is a five wood or three wood, so it really made it difficult for me because I couldn't hit many drivers. But yeah, just trying to figure out how my clubs are playing yardage wise, where I want to miss it, even though I don't really want to say miss here. Um, just got to give myself good spots to land and to hit it on every shot. This hole sets up well to my eye. Good. 
should I proceed to slice it? 195 still. There's a little bit short left, shipping it back this way. This looks good, maybe sit. It's really hard to chip to these green. No, you landed it right on the green. No left. Oh. I know, I would have thought, after seeing my pitch really break hard, I would have thought for I sure that would thought that would go left. Oh, well. Before we get any further, what were your thoughts on the front nine? My thoughts are, I really hope I'm hitting it solid off the tee when we get to this. I think I'm playing this on Sunday. Um, definitely a tricky course. Pretty wide open fairways, but still, if you miss the fairway, it's going to lead to a difficult attempt to actually make par. Greens are also really tricky. Gonna have to really be focusing on my book and the different undulations in the green, making sure I'm playing the right break. Um, really just gonna try to make as many pars as I can and minimize any kind of doubles or anything like that. Yeah, I think it was um, a little bit more favorable off the tee than the seaside course we played yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I'm pretty sure I hit two drivers on the front nine at seaside. So that's gonna be probably the most difficult course for me just because I I'm hitting it a little too far for these tees, so I am having to not hit driver. Yeah, but more drivers on this, so we'll yeah. find out on the back nine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll probably split this up um, just for the content because this is the only day we're filming here. So we're going to head out to the back nine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and stick around for part two. It'll be up soon after this. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.